Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. We're playing the Legacy Runs and we're in mission 3 of the second run. Uh, today we're visiting a coastal town trying to fight off some chrysalids and I'm utterly uh, excited. So destroy the pirate radio turns on uh, until over run 10 which means we're fighting against the timer even better. I love timer missions, I know. A lot of uh, people absolutely hate them, but I think uh, it's a separate skill. It's not just advancing carefully. It effectively means you you got to think through what you're trying to do. There is Advent. We are concealed. Bradford is moving up. On the move. I like the idea of high ground. There is a viper down here. Need to be careful not to pull two packs go, go, go. at once. A well-placed grenade would deal a lot of damage against these guys. To my loyal audience, I feel I need to get this out there. <clears throat> There's some rumors going around. Bug rumors. And from the sounds of it, maybe I'm not that crazy after all. You're starting to see them too, right? Can the white we... Things with the pointy legs, the clickety-clack creepers. Somewhat hit them, that's the question. So I'm not super scared about the flashbang grenade. It would be nice to move up to here and then throw the acid grenade. The solid position would be here. But I'm worried that we're going to see the Viper from there. So I'm figuring out whether or not there's another decent position. Maybe we're just taking the position in here. Which, although that's half cover, it has better angles to actually throw the grenade. Yeah, that's the best grenade that we could get. I think we're going to start the encounter. The darkness is lifted. Lots of damage, three damage on all of them, plus the burn. That's really good. Alright, so if we were to use yet another grenade, right? Uh, that here would be our thing. Or alternatively... You know, probably that's, that's the right way. Getting rid of cover. making sure we can kill all of them at once. Okay. 
Some monster needs to die. And although it's in the open and I really don't like it, Whatever given that we already have someone in the open, that just makes it marginally worse. So, rather try to kill. Uh, kill them all instead of taking shots. For all we knew about the alien technology back then, whatever this transmitter was the DJ stole from Advent, it could have been doing exactly what it was originally designed for. Maybe the aliens needed them to corral the chrysalids. Maybe they didn't even have control of all these monsters. So, let's start with the Viper, shall we? I we need to flank it first. Details. Open up into yet another half cover. Very strong position there. Just out of curiosity, if he would justice pull someone up, why exactly wouldn't it deal extra damage? Oh, you can't pull the sectors up. That explains it. Seven and burning means he's dead, although he's not labeled as such yet. Okay, we can hit the Viper, but it's only going to be a small hit. However, this here, I mean we could always flashbang into them, which is nice because it disables the ability of the Codex to teleport. Sector would be a clean kill, that's a 100% crit, he would just fall over, uh, fall over dead. I think we're going to go with the Viper. Seven damage, that's okay. Let's see if we can finish it. Okay. One of the sectors is already down, so he's going to die just by the burning effect. Second sector takes 100% crit, dies, which means we're only left with the Codex. Unfortunately, we can't uh, throw the EMP grenade as far. But since the Codex is not taking shots, we might as well move down and try to kill it. It will teleport, if anything, and then do his typical psionic bomb. That's what it always does. If we hit it, though, we might as well kill it. There we go. Thanks to blue screen rounds, since it's a mechanical unit. I know I'm harping on this, but there's definitely something weird going on around here. Living out of whatever box you can find, you start to get used to strange noises and things that go bump in the night. 
All right. Move down. And we got a couple of chrysalids. Hello there. Another prison of down. And we're still getting we're still getting early bird bonus, which is interesting. Yeah, I can see that we're most likely going to kill all of them this turn. Might want to slow down just now, because the early bird bonus goes down to 100 now. Um, and if we have a, a wounded soldier, that's a minus thousand so now is a good time to actually stop there it was clear as day that our dj had failed to mention one critical detail the damn thing was pure alien technology and not even advent stuff something older to this day i still have no idea how he had managed to get any of it working but it was all starting to make a lot more sense So moving down, let's get the sniper a little bit further to the front line, like this here is a good position, better line of sight angles there. Like I said, we're slowly advancing now. Move in, move in. I like full cover. Yeah, that's the last pack. I'm pretty sure we're having another pack of four non chrysalids. It was either bad luck or just stupid coincidence. But for whatever reason, the DJ had installed his transmitter on the dock right near the water's edge. Oh, I saw we unknowingly positioned this thing to be the most efficient. Need to destroy the radio possible. relay, so might as well speed that up a little reasonable. bit. I almost forgot that there was like a destruction thing. Move to the front so we can use the grappling hook to get to the target faster. Just want to make sure that we can destroy it. Got it covered. Got it covered. For a second I was like, ah, we're not on time mission. Yeah, and I can see there is the last pack back here, only chrysalids. That's easy. Let's kill these guys. One down.
a useful aid. Oh, come on. Let's kill this guy. Thank you. Kudo. Central's moving over. There we go. Redford, you are reliable. I like it. I will sense any disturbance. And some more chrysalids. Did bring it on himself. Stolen equipment aside, did he think the aliens were just gonna let him mouth off all day with no reprisal? We all know the aliens love reprisal. By the way, that was a real chrysalid, not one of the b baby ones. I reload. And another, by the way, they still have these huge sharks which if you've ever played the original XCOM 1 Newfoundland mission you are well aware that these sharks contain chrysalids Clearly haven't neutralized all hostile targets yet, but that's okay. I'm still waiting for a man to come out here. I'm not sure how much longer I can hide. I just wish I could have at least broadcasted this grand finale. I barely got the chance to get my feet wet. <laughs> nice. The burning rounds are really strong against the chrysalids. So we wanted 90,000. But that was only enough to stop the onslaught for a few miles in each direction. It was still worth Yeah, I know, I was saying we wanted 95,000. Um, so I'm wondering, I mean, we haven't taken any, uh, any damage. We moved extremely fast. We got all of the bonus to complete the mission. Hmm. equipment among the aliens we took out, but we didn't have a whole lot of time to take inventory. No, we're going to keep our ammunition definitely. Ranger will get spider suit and sharpshooter will get spider suit. Uh, yeah, I think that's an excellent idea. And we got ourselves a psi operative. Nice, I like it. So we're playing without a Grenadier, which, yeah, it's a bit different because we can't remove cover as efficiently, but I think for now we're fine. So far we haven't really had to deal with a lot of cover. And with Soulfire Stasis and Inspire, we're already having perfect abilities on that Psy operative. Amini Mustafa. Never heard of her name. I was thinking if she could be one of the ones that you rescue in XCOM 1, but probably that's not the case. We're falling a bit behind the metal. Uh, the metal progress is falling behind the mission progress. Uh, so the next one's better, a really, really big one. Aside from our civic duty to rescue a fellow human in need, the only way we were going to shut down the rest of his broadcasts was if he pointed us towards the other equipment. He had been squirming for a few hours now, and apparently Advent was having trouble with the doors on his building. So of course, he was getting cocky. Because he's an ass. I don't know we're here. 
Once we got into the city, the comm signal was stronger than ever. We didn't have anything else to go on, so we used the transmission as a beacon. Oh, classical XCOM extraction mission. So, 50,000 just to finish it. 33,000 for enemy kills. We can rescue a couple of civilians, apparently the um, bodyguards of him as well. Ooh, that's interesting. And that here might even be a mission with a loss for the first time. So we know he's here. That's the exit. No effing idea where exactly his bodyguards are supposed to be. Okay, but we're going to see that in the next mission, guys. Um, these ones are short and snappy, but I like them. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Leave a comment and tell me um, which of the runs you liked uh, the best so far. See you in the next mission.